Hello everyone, Creeperkiller1736 here, and today we're continuing with, with the final installment of our Bed Wars series on Lifeboat Games. Um, before I go play some Bed Wars, uh, I would like to say, uh, if we could please get this video to 3 likes and get my channel to 10 subscribers, that would be amazing. Uh, I would like to thank my, uh, 5 subscribers right now, um, you guys are amazing. Um, all you viewers are amazing, but I appreciate the subscribers, uh, it's, it's just really fun being a content creator. Uh, this is one of the funnest things that I've ever done before. Um, so if you just leave a like on the video uh, and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Um, so right here, we are going to play our final installment of the Bed Wars series. Uh, real quick, uh, I will be playing Sky Wars next, but if any of you want to see a different game like Survival Mode, Sky Block, or Capture the Flag, Creative mode, or one in the chamber, or zombie apocalypse or survival games, I will do that. Uh, just leave a comment saying that uh, you would like to do it. Um, the only requirement is you have to have liked this video and then leave a comment. Um, then uh, your selection of a use, you will also get a shout out uh, in the next video. Uh, if you want to see Sky Wars, uh, you can do that too. Uh, you just have to like the video and then just say, I want to see Sky Wars next. Um, you, like I said, you will receive. A shout out and your selection will be used. Um, I will not be playing Lifeboat City, this Lifeboat City, or Prisons uh, because those are different games than uh, these. I'm more interested in mini games and not like a city role play or Prisons. Um, those are the only rules. Those will be the three I'm not using. Uh, so let's get inside of Chaos Mode here. So Chaos Mode is basically uh, 4v4, but crazy. Um, so let's see. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's only five people in here. It's, it's coming in rather slow, so it seems like this is a slow period for Chaos Mode right now. Sometimes you'll get a game with 24 people. Sometimes you might only get, like, 12. It looks like we're going to have a bit more, but sometimes you never get 24. You just have to keep that in mind. Uh, sometimes it might be 6 on 6 or 7 on 6 or something like that, but you just got to see. Uh, another thing, um, in Chaos Mode there are three beds, um, and bed defense is key. It's not as critical as some of the other games, where if you lose the bed, that's it. Um, on Chaos Mode, it, you can actually, you know, lose a bed and still be okay, but you still want to keep your beds defended. So, let's, uh, let's get back down here. It looks like we're gonna have relatively few games. We got 21, we might get 20... Nope, there we go. We got 24. All right, uh, just push us under the wire there. Last like seven seconds. So let's get started. So this map actually only has two beds, as opposed to most with three. So you're gonna want to immediately grab some bricks, grab those bricks, and then we're gonna run over here and grab these bricks. Okay, your two beds are down there. This is actually a really interesting map where your beds are like underground. So you're going to want to get clay on the beds right away. Uh, you're also going to want iron. Don't forget iron, because uh, iron's important. So let's, uh, ooh, let's be fine right here. No, 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 that's my iron. Thank you. Okay, let's get uh, 32 bricks. Looks like this guy left his spawner. There we go. So this guy's doing something good too. You see how he's doing this? You can actually sprint up that. That's always the bet. If you're going to bridge up, like build a staircase, like away from the map, it's always good to do that. So let's, uh, let's get this, and we'll get our pickaxe. So we'll get beds covered in clay, which is, you want to have clay completely covering the beds first. This is always the most important thing to do. Get a bed defense up, because if you use more glass, they're just going to break right through. This, you just wait a little bit longer, but it's much better protected. So, do this, and this, okay. It's very difficult to climb out of here, so you just gotta keep that in mind if you're going to break the other team's bed. So, let's see. Looks like a lot of people are dying, I'm thinking the middle has become a battleground. So let's uh, see if we can hurry up, get over there. Let's actually run over here and grab this. Uh, I never recommend just charging straight in like there because a lot of those people are doing. Um, I recommend actually waiting a second and getting at least some chain mail armor and a uh, stone sword and a pickaxe. That way, if you manage to break through, you can break their beds. This is better for 
better for your overall gameplay. Uh, if you just run forward with a wooden sword, you're not going to get much done, except unless you're attacking other uh, equally geared opponents. So, ooh, here comes someone. You want to stop them as quickly as possible. Got him. Alright. So he's done. Okay, this guy is going to try to build a cross. So is this guy. Okay, so let's actually... You can go up here. Um, if I'm not going to build straight up like those guys did. I'm actually going to build like this. You do this, then anyone can follow you. Uh, you have to think. Enemies can also do it too. So if you do this, then your teammates can help you if you get into trouble. Or, you know, if they see there's a threat, they will try to help you. Like, you see that guy's going straight up? No one else below him, even though there's a whole bunch of people, will be able to help him. So let's, uh... Get over here. Let's go help this guy. Let's get across here. You always want to make sure you can get away. Alright, let's go. See, like, this guy built straight stinking out. You know, I mean, it's just kind of annoying. Oh! Wow. I'm smart. Oh, my goodness. Well, that didn't go very well. Oh, here comes someone. Uh, okay, they got him. Wow. Let's see. Since I put the uh, bricks down, he shouldn't last very long. Oh, yeah. Okay, he dead. Okay, good. So, let's, uh, let's gear back up. Uh... Like I said, you're going to want 32. Uh, once you die, it's okay. Uh, I know it can be frustrating, but generally you want to get right back out in there. So, uh, right now, uh, I still recommend with Chaos Mode you have at least a uh, wood pickaxe. The very least. Wood pickaxe is as small as you can. But like, look, these guys can't get across our bridges because there's literally everyone attacking. Okay? That's the thing about chaos, but so many people have the possibility of attacking you, it's unreal. You can get swarmed from so many different directions. It's ridiculous. I mean, that guy was going 1v7, and they're all on the same side. You're never going to get that in a duos. That's what makes this game mode unique. So, let's uh, get you. Kill that, and then we're just going to... There's actually a really cool game I had with chaos mode one time, where everyone had diamond swords, were still running off leather armor. It was really fun. Here, let's actually build... Let's actually build a way up there. Just so this... Just so more people can get up. You know, just just, just so more people can do it. And then, uh, I might not necessarily go up here myself. But it looks like this guy's destroying the bridge. But I mean, people like to know that they got another guy with them. You know, that they're not by themselves. Like, you see how ridiculous these... Oh! I did not even see that hole. I'm just good for falling today. Probably I seem to be good for. So, let's, uh, let's go down this way. Uh, see how far I can get before someone notices me. Oh, did that guy notice me? Someone did. Down, down, out. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Uh, I don't feel comfortable. Uh, I was being attacked. Guys, save me. Get me out. You guys are clogging this up. <laughs> Is he literally gonna build up here? That's actually really smart. He didn't come all the way up here like I expected him to. Alright, let's uh... <laughs> he just landed and just put a pickaxe right through my skull. I'm not playing very well today. I don't know why. I haven't actually... This is another good strategy for this map. Actually, cover this up. Uh, apparently there is a hole somewhere. So let's actually get a stone sword. 
because uh, that's the best thing we can afford right now. And we'll get another stock class. So chaos mode is one mode where you can like really focus on PvP. Like if you want, like you can do so much. Like uh, you can just focus on bed defense. Uh, you can literally do this the whole time. Uh, you can build bridges for your team, or you can just gather gold or sit there AFK. I mean, you can do whatever you feel like. Uh, don't mind these Discord. I don't know if you can hear them, but I got some Discord stuff going on. But let's actually get across here. Looks like they have a bridge, but I'm going to go here because I'm sneaky. So let's, uh, let's be a sneaky boy over here. Uh, let's just move right across. I think a sneaky boy over there with a bow died. So let's actually just bridge right across here. This will give us another way across so we can uh, attack them. I'm going to make it a one-way bridge, actually. Which is just like that. I'm just going to run back this way. Wow, Discord is lighting up. Okay, I'm lagging because of it. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Dude, what's going on? Okay, so I'm going to run back. It looks like this guy ain't leaving, so... I don't know why people do that. They, like, crouch whenever you attack them. Okay, they did the same thing we did. Oh, boy. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see if we can get down in here. Okay, like, right here, I could literally just spend this whole time farming people. I mean, I legitimately could. Oh, wow, there is a hole right here. I don't think anyone knows I'm here. I'm just gonna fill that in with glass so I hear it. Okay, now here we go. I can get every single one of their beds. But they can't stop me. They think it's safe. Alright, I'm gonna get as much of this wool as possible. I'll we'll have to get out of it because I gotta think of my escape. Whoa. Okay, I'm trying to think of my escape. So I'm gonna grab some of this wool. This help me escape when I'm done. As soon as I destroy the beds, though, there's no turning back. They're gonna go down here. It's gonna be like World War III trying to get out. So let's just get as much of this sweet wool as possible. Okay, that ought to be done. Got it. And. Got it. Alright, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. They know about me. So I died, but I still got all their beds. So now what we're going to do is we need to immediately press and destroy all enemies. So it looks like there's a decent amount of iron here. Uh, so we're just going to snag as much of this as possible. Hopefully there's three right here. Yep. Okay. Then we're going to grab some quick blocks. So in cast mode, the beds, uh, I mean, you don't have to spend your whole time defending the beds. You can go out and fight. Um, I used to do that. I would play chaos mode, but just, you know, destroy beds. Uh, or you could just spend the whole time playing where you, uh, you fight, like, the enemy team. Like, you literally just, like, go looking for fights. That's actually a really good way to get good at PvP. Uh, it looks like they've taken over here. There's only one guy left. But, I got my compass. It's probably up somewhere, if I had to guess. Oh, that's it. Alright. So, there we go. Uh, let's see what we got. Five, three, two. That's not bad. Uh, it's the best out of anyone. This guy had eight to one. That's good, but I had the bed, so. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Like, that one guy seemed to focus on combat. Um, I'll do another game. Uh, so. Let's see. Uh, we'll try to get Super Retro World. Uh, Super Retro World is actually a really cool map because it's something you can do. Um, if I get it, I'll show you. Uh, I'm just gonna warn you, uh, I might fail at it, because it's kind of tricky to do. Uh, it took me a while to get good at it. Uh, I haven't actually done it successfully in a while, I need to practice it. But it's getting across the map with 16 glass, using, no, it's 32, using 32 glass to get across the entire map and destroy all the beds before they even know what's happening. It's actually really cool. 
Oh, Subrush over one. Uh, so this is a map where you can blitz. Uh, a lot of the other maps I don't recommend blitzing because it could take up a whole stack just to get from your island to mid, let alone to their island. So let's see, we need clay, clay right here. Immediately grab some. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go. Drop that ninth one, we don't need it. We're traveling light. 16, 32 glass, let's go, okay. Let's run across here. So you can see this map is very tight. So, boop, boop, there we go, okay. Okay, there we go. There, there. Okay. I just put those blocks down for safety. As you can see, I can make the jump. It just makes me nervous. Okay, and boop, boop. Hello. <laughs> he took a swig at me, he didn't hit me. Okay, now as you can see, no one started on the bed defense. Whoa, he boosted me. <laughs> Pizza? That's actually the name of a map. Okay, let's go. One more bet. Now you gotta know on this last one, they're all coming for you. Yep, look, he, he called it. Okay, so now I died, but they don't have any bets. Uh, looks like people are starting to put some defenses up. Uh, I am not going to go in with any strong weapons. This is a map. You go hard and fast. Hard, fast, and light. So let's, uh, actually, let's, uh, let's grab, let's grab a sword. It's probably good to have a sword. Uh, grab a sword and a pick, just in case anyone's using clay. Okay, let's go here. Da, 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 da. I gotta get going because people are gonna start getting killed and I'm not gonna be there to get any kills myself. So let's go. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's go. Uh, just grab the snowballs just in case anyone decides to pillar up. Let's see. Here we go. This guy is going for our base. Nope. Oh, I missed. Okay, it looks like this bed is defended. He's going to try to get into it. I got gotcha, you, though. Goodbye. Gotcha. Alright. Drop him. I wish... You, that would, it would be a cool idea, like, if you got an iron every time you killed someone. You could just kind of, like... You killed them, and they didn't, like, you know, you didn't lose all the stuff. Like, they're dead, and then, like, you were able to, like, salvage something. Like, not just, like, what they're carrying. Okay, I don't know why someone would do that. Maybe they're getting chased. I don't know. So, now we're just purely on a hunting mission. We are killing everyone. Goodbye. Dead. Okay, it looks like two guys are going this way. The solar gamer tag. There's one. Okay, there's two. Okay, it looks like there's still six people left. It looks like they're pushing wide this way. Oop, fire swing. Got him. Alright, there's another guy right here. Got him. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Just drop all this stuff. I do not need it. Let's see what we got. There are three people. It looks like they built straight across. I've never seen that before. Uh, oh, there's one right there. He is right there. He's going wide. Uh, there's also a whole tunnel system underneath this map where actually a lot of iron generators are. So, let's see. Maybe I can get this guy. Hello. Got you. Oh, wow. Let's gear up here real quick. Been a while here. Might as well out with the old and in with the new. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we can find. Let's see, there's still two of them left. My guess is they're below us in the tunnels or they're hiding. I'm not going to know for sure until uh, we get down to 10 minutes and we get a compass. That won't happen for another 5 minutes. So let's see, we're still hunting. So, like in Chaos, as you can see, you can end up in some pretty crazy PvP situations like that last game, where you're like one person fighting seven or something. So you gotta get good at your reaction time and game sense. Like, if I was running across this bridge and a few people were chasing me, I'd switch to my the terracotta, and I would like do something like that because I know it would stop a. Well, I'll just put a just put buffer down because I know it would stop them from getting across. So. Let's get through here. 
I don't see anyone. I'm surprised I don't see him because I figured they'd be over here. Might as well upgrade my stuff. Wait for one more so I can get my pickaxe too. There we go. So, I'll upgrade my sword, my pickaxe, and then I guess we'll go out looking, but I have no idea where these guys are. Oh, I had enough to begin with. We'll just get another more snowballs. There we go. Okay. Let's go see what we got. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's a guy down below. He's coming up. You can see there's a whole tunnel system down there. Uh, it's really big. Let's just break this. It's kind of stupid of me to do something like that. Okay. Let's keep looking. One thing I don't like about this map is the 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 there's so many of these spawners around that it actually looks. Oh, we got someone. Fortnite Fire. I think he was in the last game. I think a lot of these guys were in the last game. Let's see. There's one more guy left. I think he might be up here or something. Maybe he fell. Did I say he fell? No, I said he got killed. I'm just wondering if maybe someone's on top of there. But I don't see anyone. Hmm. This is a part of the game that can get annoying where you're just looking for one person. Uh, most people would leave about here. We, I'm actually surprised no one has left. Because usually that's what happens. It looks like someone could be up there. So I'm actually going to go up here. I remember what I said. Always build out of staircases. Oh. I do not see anything. Uh, no orange gamer tags. I don't think anyone's up here. Just making sure. It doesn't look like it. Someone might have jumped from there on top. It's a guess. I still don't see anything. Uh. Give me one second, uh, I need to go, uh, I need to tell someone, you know, real quick. Okay, I'm back, I'm sorry, I just had to yell at someone. If you're hearing stuff in the background, it's my little, uh, sister and my brother, they're watching some or doing something, I don't know what they're doing. I just tell them to please keep it down. Okay. I don't think anyone's up here. Highly doubt. They are over there talking again. This is my life. You know, brothers and sisters, they are so loud whenever you're trying to do something. Do any of you guys, uh, let me know down in the comments if you have brothers or sisters that are always loud whenever you're trying to do something. Um, why is this guy on fire? Oh, he set himself on fire. See, this is what happens. Whenever you can't find someone, people start torturing themselves. But now, you want to start thinking like the other guy. I'm um, thinking. If I were him, I would be focusing on our, our uh, thing. Uh, as unlikely as it is, if he could destroy all of our uh, beds, he would win. In spirit. You know, he did get all of our beds. We still won, but he got all the beds. I have no idea where this guy is. As soon as we all get in a minute and a half, whenever we get our compasses, we're all going to go crazy. I want to be ready for that. I'm actually going to go to the center of the map. So, I'm going to go right here and just wait for the last minute. I honestly don't know where this guy is. He must just be crouching all over the place. So, let's just snap on up here. Let's just... Just always remember to have bridges uh, with steps. I, you never know. Someone might need to come up here. So. Let's see. Uh, let me give us a second here. Um, uh, there's, there's someone over there putting blocks down, but they're not in render distance. I think it's a teammate. We're using our own color wool. Alright. 30 more seconds. You can see everyone is looking for this guy. Uh, whatever he has found, it's going to be crazy. Hey! 
wow. He fell at his leg. Wow. Gravity. Someone went up in flames. Alright, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boop. Got this. Alright, let's go. We are on this guy right now. There's no way he's gonna escape us. So the only way to get someone with your compass, whenever everyone gets your compass, you basically have to kill everyone at least once. So let's see. Looks like, oh, did I see something move? No, was it over there? It looks like he's back here. Is he hiding outside? Look at that. Hello. Got him. Alright, well, he didn't have any hopes with that. I've never seen anyone do that before. Alright, uh, 613. Uh, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, two games. Uh, you can see you can blitz uh, Super Retro World amazingly. It's awesome, ain't it? But uh, that'll be it. If we could please get to 10 subscribers, that's our current goal, and get our video up to 3 likes. This video has 3 likes. Uh, don't forget at the beginning uh, about the contest to uh, name the next game mode. If you're the first, to like and leave a comment saying which game you like. Uh, let me know, and it'll be the one chosen. Uh, until then, that'll be this will be Crypto Killer uh, 1736. Uh, we'll see you next time on whatever game you pick, or Skywars. See you next time.